you started this season uh, as you would ho hoped. It was a really nice start in the Hammer. Yes, uh, I think uh, I couldn't ask for a better uh, start. So, yeah, last year was a bit more like a struggle. So this year was uh, really good. And of course, I hope to continue and make uh, good jumps uh, this weekend and you know, yeah, further in the season. We read and heard that you are trying to, your aim is to be as good as men, to reach the level of men's jumping. Is it really possible and you hope to achieve that? Uh, well, yeah, at least we are searching for the things to make it happen. So I think uh, just by working on it and trying to find what, uh, what the difference is, uh, you can also make some adjustments and work on, yeah, Maybe the first part of the flight, uh, things like that, and yeah, you get better and better, and hopefully I will be on the same level soon. But uh, we'll see. <laughs> we also heard that your big dream is to fly on a ski flying hill. Is it true? <laughs> yes, of course. Uh, I think uh, uh, a lot of the girls uh, can jump the ski flying hill, so we are working for to jump there maybe already next year and or uh, in 2022 in the uh, world championships in Wikstrom so we'll see uh, I think for me it's uh, like a big goal and a big motivation to have that uh, in the future so um, yeah we'll work work for it uh, is it true that Adam Mawish was a big inspiration for you and an idol sports idol yeah of course he was uh, yeah, maybe the the best uh, ski jumper when I grew up. So I was watching uh, competitions on the TV and I saw Adam Malish and I think, yeah, he's an idol. And now, yeah, um, I think I've seen a lot of j jumps by him. So uh, I think uh, I've learned a lot. Do you think that you can match his number of success and victories? Uh, I think it will be hard, but... Uh, so far, I'm just trying to uh, yeah, get better every day, and I think it will be really hard to beat him. But uh, yeah, I just work on my own career, and uh, so far, I think that's uh, what matters for me. If you have some idol like Adam, is it possible to like take something from him, from his technique, style of jumping, or is it like something you have to develop completely on your own? Yeah, I think maybe the bird. I will not. Uh, <laughs> get, <laughs> but uh, the rest, uh, yeah, I think, uh, well, it was kind of, yeah, a bit back in time, so much has happened uh, with the uh, equipment and so on, but uh, I think his uh, stable jump technique uh, is something everything, everybody can learn from, so, yeah. So your life in Norway seems like really uh, amazing. You meet a lot of famous people. Are you a very big celebrity there? No, I don't think I'm a big celebrity. But uh, of course, after uh, yeah, we are more on TV. Uh, we get in the Olympics and World Championships. Uh, people pay attention to the women's ski jumping. And I think that's really nice. And I think it's good for me to meet at those uh, uh, meetings with the celebrities and to talk about women's ski jumping and yeah the, I think it's important for us so I I feel, I feel like yeah it's important for me when for the sport you met lately the royal family and w together with Bjorn Aina Romoren how was it ah, it was really nice uh, they are yeah, they are really nice people, and we also met in uh, in Seefeld, and uh, they uh, they follow us and they cheer for us and watch us on television. So I think they are really nice. Yeah. What about the Chuck Norris meeting? <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a bit more uh, unexpected, but of course, uh, well, I don't know him uh, by the TV series, but. Uh, I have heard about him and I think I was really starstruck so <laughs> it was uh, really cool and yeah he really paid attention to what we said about the history of the ski jumps in Holmkollen and yeah it was a nice meeting.
Uh, so, uh, how popular is ski jumping, lady ski jumping in Norway right now? If you compare it to other disciplines, like you know, like uh, cross country and uh, everything else, uh, it's hard to compare, of course. But uh, I think uh, it's really getting bigger and bigger. And for example, uh, this uh, World Championships in Seafelt, we had more uh, TV viewers than, than the men, for example, for ski jumping. So I think it's growing and people pay attention to the women ski jumpers, which, um, yeah, so uh, it's good. So are you recognized on the streets and uh, when you go shopping? Uh, well, sometimes <laughs> I can, <laughs> but yeah, uh, it's, it's just a nice uh, thing and uh, people are cheering for you. So yeah, it's a nice, uh, nice thing. So one more question. You had a little bit of bad luck with your fall in Lillehammer before in Trondheim. What, how was is everything okay? And what do you think about such bad luck? Because it's it's really bad luck. Yeah, I, I think it's bad luck, but also my fault. <laughs> uh, well, now I feel really fine, and uh, I think I had uh, uh, really uh, much luck because I was uh, sliding down the. The in run and fell down so from the takeoff. So, yeah, I hit my knee and my head really hard. But uh, luckily, I had the helmet on and yeah, I was just really scared <laughs> about what could happen. So, uh, yeah, I am just lucky I came from it with the no injuries and yeah, that I feel fine at the moment. So. We had a few seasons of domination of Sarata Kanashi. Do you think now it's Marin Lundsby turn? And you will dominate the next few winters? Well, of course, I hope so. But uh, as we see all the time, uh, it's changing. And uh, there are a lot of uh, girls who are uh, com com competing at the, the highest level at the moment. So, yeah, I think in ski jumping, it's uh, such big uh, differences from weekend to weekend so you can never be sure but I'll always do my best and uh, yeah my aim is to be among the the best uh, ski jumpers in the world when I uh, when I retire so yeah we'll see <laughs> do you, are you same motivated uh, for the season when there is world championships as for the season without world championships or olympics how does it work yeah I think I found some goals uh, yeah, by uh, trying to get the level of the boys, for example, uh, and also trying to get uh, three crystal globes in, in a row, which uh, was only Malish who did. So I tried to find the motivation in other things, uh, which, which is good. So, uh, yeah, but of course I look forward to next year again uh, with the World Championships in Oberstorf. And yeah, I always find uh, new things to motivate myself for. So, yeah. Do you follow a lot of men's ski jumping? Do you watch all the boys' competitions when you can? Yeah, all the time. Uh, <laughs> so every jump, uh, every training jump on a FIS live ticker. Yeah, I go search on YouTube. I uh, I see everything. <laughs> so I try to learn. <laughs> so what uh, is your impression about the start of the season? We are, for example, a little bit disappointed by the Polish. We have a new coach. And do you, what's your professional opinion? About the Polish? Yeah, the Polish, <laughs> and if they are really weaker, or is it so far bad luck, you know, the wind and stuff? <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, as I said, uh, in ski jumping it changes all the time, and I think if you have a bad start of the season, so yeah, everything can happen uh, in January, February, March, so I think uh, you just have to stay focused on what you can work on, and uh, I think uh, the Polish, uh, Polish ski jumpers are... Yeah, they are uh, really great and I think they have a lot of experience uh, with Kamil Stock in front and I think uh, yeah, they will be hard to beat uh, in some competitions. So that's a nice way of <laughs> saying that we have a very old team. <laughs> yeah, that's a good thing. <laughs> so, because for the Norway has some nice uh, also young guys coming yeah. which are really strong. Well, yeah. Do you think the current men's uh, Norway team is really strong? Yeah, I think uh, it looks good so far. Uh, they are a really, uh, yeah, strong team at the moment. But uh, we'll see what happens uh, during the season. But 
yeah, it's good to see that there are some new faces on the on the team. Wow.